All right. So I don't know if you've been paying attention at all to the current state of Marvel, um, but it's not good. And one of the major looming things that they've had is they've kind of had their own flash scenario, where just like how Ezra Miller was in a ton of legal trouble for various reasons, which affected the flash movie. Jonathan majors has been in a ton of trouble um, for essentially harassment and assault. And Marvel has been kind of waiting to see what to do because he, of course, Jonathan majors is playing their major big bad, their next thing. Thanos Kang, and we now officially have word as to the verdict that was given to him. And again, he's been playing this off as, hey, don't worry, like I'm totally innocent. There's no worries here. Everything's going to be fine. And now we for sure know that that is not the case. So this is coming to us from Variety. Let's read this article. So it says a Manhattan jury found Jonathan Majors guilty on Monday of two misdemeanor counts of harassment and assault but acquitted him on two other accounts in the domestic assault trial the marvel actor was found not guilty on one count of intentional assault in third degree and graviated harassment in the second degree against his ex-girlfriend grace majors wearing a dark gray suit and seated with his attorneys and current girlfriend megan did not display a reaction to the verdict uh, as it was being read. So the judge uh, set a sentencing date on February 6th. Majors faces up to a year in jail, but he could also be sentenced to probation. This two week long trial resumed in a lower Manhattan courtroom as a six person jury requested to hear the definition of harassment in the second degree which was a person guilty of the intent to harass, annoy, or alarm another person. He or she strikes, shoves, kicks, otherwise subjects such other person to physical contact or attempts to or threatens to do the same. So he is officially guilty of harassment and assaulting his ex-girlfriend. Um, it turns out all this stuff was true. And so now what? <laughs> Um, glad justice is done. Glad that she was able to get justice for herself. But now looking at Marvel, dude, they're in huge trouble. Um, there was already rumors that they were thinking of moving to Doom. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, one thing, though, and the thing about a character like Kang is I don't know why they just don't recast that if there was ever a character that you were able to recast and explain away very easily, it would be Kang, that he has multiple variants of himself all around the universe. Why would every variant look identical to him? That we had the th three Spider-Men all together and they are not identical in any way, shape or form. They have similarities, but they're not the same. I don't know why you couldn't just do that for Kang. Just recast, find another actor, and continue to finish off this saga. But man, for Marvel, it just is like one hit after another. That things have just not been good. That nothing has been coming to them easy this uh, time around, whether it was being taken over by Bob Chapek, who eventually drove multiple properties at Disney into the ground, to then getting like a breath of fresh air being like oh good okay bob Iger's back we can kind of pull away from doing so many tv shows and movies and kevin feige can get his hands back on marvel at a more intense way so that the quality control is better but then you immediately bump into as it feels like okay we're finally gaining momentum into this jonathan major stuff and you're like okay well maybe we'll sort this out and then we heard all those leaks coming out um, from the Marvel retreat they had where they were essentially considering just scrapping Kang already. But now I'm like, man, I don't know how they don't now that he's actually guilty that you can't have someone who's guilty of this stuff in this role. Um, I hope that Jonathan Majors kind of essentially repents and becomes a better person and is able to pick himself back up and learn from this and become a healthier human being. Um, but I don't think he should be allowed to play King. I personally think it would be a bad look. I personally am not a big fan of the Doom idea where I know that that could be cool, but I it feels really forced i think i just pers i personally hope they just recast i hope they just find another actor who is able to play this character um that you could explain away all of this just by recasting but i totally get that if they want to head into the doom thing and just leave kang in the dust that loki season two ends it that you could just be like oh yeah loki kind of dealt with kang 
and we don't need to worry about them anymore. Obviously, that's not where they were headed with that, but you could easily explain that away. Um, and you could just move on to Doom or somebody. But man, Marvel is in a lot of trouble. I don't know what they're going to do. But with that being said, I want to know what you guys think. So head down to the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think they should recast Kang or do you think they should just totally move on? What do you think Marvel is going to do moving forward? How do you think they handle this news? How do you think they handle the Kang dynasty uh, given that all of this is now crumbling around them? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would be really interested to hear your guys' thoughts on this story and where you think Marvel is going to go from here. Like, comment, subscribe, all that junk. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully Marvel's able to figure their stuff out because it's not looking so good. Bye, guys.